Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Welcome back to the Brandon, to the B&M Sports Talk NFL Podcast. That's right. The B&M NFL Podcast. Brought to you live by AT&T. They do not sponsor us. <laughs> Let's get into it, guys. Um, we will be talking about the draft mm-hmm. for the NFL. It's this Thursday. It is indeed. This April Thursday. The, the 28th. All right, Brandon, uh, first overall pick. Uh, who are you going with and why? All right. <laughs> I'm going to go with Evan Neal, offensive tackle from Alabama. Because I see a lot of draft uh, mock drafts having Trayvon Walker or Aiden Hutchison in the first overall pick because they think like defensive player obviously why go like why not go with the best defensive player available which in both of these cases is an edge rusher however like of course they 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 overpaid for Christian Kirk they made him a top 10 paid wideout they made Evan Ingram a 10 million contract like that's of insane course. for a player who can't drop who can't, like, catch well. But the point is that they're trying to surround Trevor Lawrence with weapons. They even franchise-tagged tackle Cam Robinson. So for those reasons, I think they're going to take it an extra step and grab the best offensive tackle to really just solidify their support for Lawrence and build around him before they even touch the defense. So you think they're going to you think they're gonna go offense? You don't think that I think they're going so. defense? Yeah, I, it's a hot take, too. Most uh, most mock drafts got uh, Travon Walker going first. I know. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a hot take for sure. And that I is think, a hot take because like, I think if the Jaguars mm-hmm. knew what they were doing uh, in the higher-ups, I think they would go for an offensive lineman. Right, right. That would be the sensical thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Of course. But unfortunately... They're the Jackson, Jacksonville Jaguars. They are. But here's... <laughs> I mean, there's not much more that could be said except for that. But I'm, I'm going to say the one thing in their favor is that they have Doug Peterson now. Oh, And okay, Doug Peterson, did. he won the Super Bowl with the Eagles. He did. With a backup quarterback. Yeah. Was it 55 or like 52? 52. 52? Okay. 52. Super Bowl 52. Nick Foles. Like, Beat out the greatest of all time, by the way. Yeah. Tom Brady. And was able to catch a touchdown. Yeah, he was. If that's not a superhero, I don't know who is. <laughs> but my point being there is, like, Doug Peterson knows quarterbacks, right? He, he does. knows, like, what they need, how to get protected. Because if you go back and look at that offensive line, that offensive line was insane. It was like four out of the five players were pro bowlers or something like that. For the Eagles? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like, pro bowlers or all pros at one point in their career. Yeah. So, I... I don't not see Doug Peterson trying to really shape that again because if you look at the coaches' history for the Jaguars, they rarely change out head coaches. Like they've had, they're a younger franchise, but I think they've had four total, maybe five with Irwin Meyer or Urban Meyer. Oh yeah, man. we don't talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy's a mistake. But, <laughs> um, but my point is, like, I think they're gonna try to really get in with Doug Peterson and really try to go and build a team in his image moving forward and really trust that before they, oh, one season, three and 14 or whatever record they get and change him out. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think Doug Peterson, I feel like he'll probably stick, hopefully. Jaguars were on the up until they weren't. But Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean. You mean like this season or like kind of these past few like years? Like these past few years. They were mm-hmm. looking pretty good. And then. Oh, yeah. Now they're not. But with uh, the drafting of their new quarterback, I thought it was going to be good. But I, yeah, I knew the team was going to stink. But yeah, I mean, um, they made some off-season moves. Yeah, um, of course. Let's see if it pays off because it definitely <laughs> was a lot. Of it's money. paying the players. That's what it. <laughs> you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to pay off, but okay. <laughs> but anyway, that was kind of a tangent. But who do you see going first overall? Um. See, like I said before, I see Trevon Walker going first. Um, mm-hmm. Like, I mean, the defense, they did pick up some pretty good defensive players, uh, mid-defensive players, overpaid yeah. them a little bit. Hey, everyone loves money. We love it. But I think Trevon Walker, I think he'll be good. I think they can also pick up, like, a good set of, uh, how many picks do they have in the first round? Just one? Uh, They have just one. 
I okay. Think. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I think that um, they could still get pretty good, uh, like a good wide receiver or something in the second round. Mm-hmm. Even though Easy. they do need linemen, but... I mean, that's fair. I mean, like you said, the Jags front office hasn't always been the best. And I think they're just going to make Trev, uh, Trevor Lawrence just bounce in the pocket a little bit until really? they get that. Yeah, I think they will. I Lamar mean, Jackson it? Yeah, oh, yeah. And Deshaun Watson it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. We don't we don't talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What team do you think is going to get the best quarterback in the draft, and who is the best quarterback in the draft? Ooh, okay. That's a good question. Okay, and you're you're not gonna like my answer. As not, a Steelers don't, fan. Okay, don't say Kenny Pickett. Oh no 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 no. Because I'm gonna say Kenny Pickett. Oh, you are? No. <laughs> Kenny Pickett. Hey. He's got small hands, bro. He's not gonna. Oh. He's not gonna do oh. anything. That's the problem. Oh, hey, we love you, Kenny. All right, anyways. <laughs> okay, well, there's not really a great quarterback in this draft. I wouldn't even really logically draft one round one. Yeah, it's very surprising that it's like that this year, but, I mean, it happens. Yeah. I mean, one year there's, like, six first-round QBs, and the next year there's one. Yeah. It's just how it is. But I think the best quarterback of this draft, and somebody who does have a chance to kind of do something in this league, is Malik Willis from Liberty. I agree. Um, I agree. Yeah, I think he's he's kind of, like, one of the rawest prospects, I feel like. But he has that superstar potential, if he hits it right. He does. I mean, this this draft of quarterbacks, it kind of reminds me of the 2017 draft with Mitch Trubisky, Deshaun Watson, and Patrick Mahomes, where it was the same kind of situation. Mm-hmm. Like, you remember? Yeah, I do. Like, I think it was Mel Kiper or, or somebody, maybe Colin Coward, who was like, Oh yeah, I wouldn't touch a quarterback in this in this draft in the first yeah, round. I do remember that. And all three of them made Pro Bowls. Yeah. Two of them made All Pros. Mm-hmm. One of them is considered like the new goat. Yeah. And the other one, the last one, most and importantly, is the MVP. The MVP. The, the Nickelodeon valuablest player. Of course, he will be playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. and that's why I think the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to trade up to get Malik, because I think he is going <laughs> as the first quarterback. I agree. I agree with the selection with Pittsburgh taking Malik. I think they're enamored with him, but you think they're going to trade up? I think they will do that, and they've never done that ever before, moving up that high in the draft to get a quarterback. Shoot, where do you think they're going to move up? Um, I mean, they'd have to move up. Definitely not in the top five. Yeah. I'd say before, before 10. Before Carolina, maybe? Yeah. Because they're, I don't know if they will, but they're looking at quarterbacks, I feel like. Mm-hmm. That's what reports say. You know who needs a quarterback? Who needs a quarterback? The Falcons. They do. Wait, no, what do you mean? They got Marcus Mariota. Um, Two year. When was the last time he started on a team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, hey, he's had a good game. Hey. If they don't need a quarterback, I think they're going to trade with the Steelers. Steelers are going to get Malik. Now, Steelers are going to get the eight to get Malik. Yes. Now, okay. I hope they don't give up an arm and a leg, which they probably will. Uh, what do you think and, a trade package for that? For an eight could possibly be? Oh, man. Um, probably, I'd, I don't know. It'd probably just be their first and then probably a couple... Probably their whole draft. You know what? Let's go. Let's <laughs> Ricky fold Williams it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put them all no, down. No, I hope not. <laughs> I like Malik Willis, but I don't think Malik Willis is a trade worthy if quarterback. I, if they can't, I see if they can't at least get a fair trade. Like I don't see them doing two first rounders for him. Dude, I, I almost could. Really? I don't. Because well, look at what what Matthew Stafford went for and Deshaun Watson. And like I'm not saying Malik is at that point, but like. If an offensive tackle in this league can be traded for two first-round picks, then surely, like, a top quarterback prospect can. Well, of you know course. what I mean? I, I agree. But I don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers organization will do that. Okay. Will trade the two first-round picks, and then that means they won't trade at all. So I don't think if they can't get the one first-rounder, mm-hmm. and then however many seconds, thirds, fourths, I think they're going to pass and get an O-lineman. But 
Or Kenny Pickett. Let's go. Let's run okay. it up. Okay, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's either Malik or an O-lineman, honestly. I think we can really run it with Trubisky yeah. for one year at least. I think so, too. I think he's a lot better than people give him credit for. He is. If you look at some of his stats, and it's like, he's really not that bad. It's just he was stuck in Chicago. Yeah, Matt Nagy. Like, yeah, he ruined him. I think he, he just needs a, a chance with a fair team, and I think Mike Tomlin can do it. So, You know what? Give me hope. I mean, I'm not a Steelers fan, but that was very insightful. Speaking of that, you're a Green Bay Packers fan. What I do you am. think they will be doing in the draft? Oh, they're going receiver. Receiver. I, I've, I've heard some reports that say they're thinking away from that. They're thinking yet another defensive player. No, I don't, yeah. I, I don't, I don't think, think so. I, don't, I do not think. They just got rid of Devontae. They need... They need offense. They need a wide receiver. They have Randall Cobb <laughs> and Alan Lazard. Oh yes, two goats. <laughs> Dude. Oh, and not let's not forget Sammy Watkins. Oh yes, still all players. Twenty eight years old. All players in their prime. Yeah. Exactly. If this was two thousand and fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's okay because I think luckily this is a receiver heavy draft, right? Receiver heavy draft. It is. Green Bay is going to get Traylon Burks, a wideout from Arkansas, this big bodied wide receiver who can really create some damage, I feel like, in the end zone and and uh, be good for some big plays. But that's the thing. He's going to be like the sixth or seventh receiver taken because I think in this draft, I think they're this, – this is going to be the draft where the record for the most receivers taken in the first round is going to be. And how many is that? I gotta count them. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't count them yet. All right. Um, we get back to me on that. One. Yeah. Okay. While we're counting, uh, let's take a look at the draft real quick. Okay. So, the Texans. What do the Texans need? I think they. I really hope they go for a wide receiver. I know they need lots of other things, but. But they just paid Brandon Cooks. So. They did, but I think it's all you know. It's all a ploy. I think they do need linemen. They'll probably go for an O-lineman. But I would like to hope for them to get at least a decent wide receiver. Yeah, maybe like late in, or uh, early in the second they can get one. Yeah. Like Sky Moore or somebody. Oh, yeah. I course. have him available out of round one. But okay. I don't know. I think they're going to go. <laughs> I think they're going to go safety. I do not think this is like a top need. <laughs> but they're going to look at Kyle Hamilton and be like, hmm, he's got raw potential. And last time there was a safety with this much raw potential, it was Derwin James, who a lot of people... Who? Are, Derwin James, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chargers safety, who a lot of people argue would be the best safety in the league, bar none, if it wasn't for his injuries. But I think they're going to take a chance on Kyle Hamilton and just hope and gamble that he can... Uh, turn it into something, and especially because they gave up Justin Reed to free agency. And that was probably their best defensive back. Okay. And he's gone. I just see it. this is too much of a good plug-and-play to just not take that chance. Okay. But, of course, they also have another pick kind of early. I think it's pick 13. They do. And this is where I see them taking an offensive tackle. Hmm. Charles Cross. Why will they be taking Mr. Charles? Charles Cross is an offensive tackle out of Mississippi State. Uh, a lot of people agree, consensus, he's a top three tackle. Uh, Texans O-line has been terrible for years. So why not take an offensive tackle who's fallen to pick 13 this early? You know, you know it's a bargain deal. I think they should, honestly. I mean, they really need to rebuild um, <laughs> after getting destroyed. After uh, Bill O'Brien, you know, really just nudged him in the in the back. Yeah, so. yeah, I agree. And Deshaun Watson, <coughs> but oh, we don't talk about that. So the greatest quarterback in Houston history, for real, of all time. Right behind Deshaun, Even or the right Whalers. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right behind Mashaw. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. And by the way, it was seven receivers. Seven receivers. Oh round. wow, that's a lot. I this is just I think that's the best position in this draft, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. I think now, who do you see getting those receivers? Who do you think needs them the most? Okay. Um, well, Green Bay, like we kind of talked about. Yeah, yeah. I think 
uh, Washington football team. Oh, sorry, Washington Commanders. Oh, need a need a receiver to pair up with scary Terry McLaurin. Oh yeah, especially because a lot of people think they're gonna take a quarterback, but I think Carson Wentz. They're gonna start him. Someone might as well give him some weapons. Yeah, they do. You know? They do. I think the Saints need one because um, Michael Thomas is not reliable anymore. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. that guy does not even. That guy doesn't show up. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, for sure. And then I would say uh, the Giants, who have the most expensive wideout room in the NFL, yet have the the least ranked wideout room in the NFL. So how does that work? Yeah, that's uh, that's a little. You know what I mean? Hey, let's go, wide right receiver who's going to the Giants. Yeah. They're gonna get paid. Yeah. No, they're gonna get paid. They're gonna be the the <laughs> point fifth. Most paid receiver room. They're just going to go up in a fraction. Yeah. Let's go. But, yeah, I think a lot of receivers don't off the board. And a lot of offense at that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. That's why we're going to take it back up to the first round pick. Okay. Where I think the Jaguars are going to get the, the D lineman. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're going going back. Travon Walker. Run it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Travon Walker. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we could probably end this podcast with one final question if you're ready i'm ready what player team combo do you want to see most out of this whole draft or it can be out of the first round what do you want to see player team combo hmm that's a good question i think i want to see even though i'm very biased Mm -hmm. either malik or kenny pickett i really think kenny pickett gets picked on a Mm -hmm. lot but, you know, honestly, I could see him, like, coming out of this draft. Now, I think a lot of people are going to be mad if the Steelers get Kenny Pickett and not an old lineman if they can't get Malik. But right. I honestly think that he could do pretty well if he's put in the right situation. Mm-hmm. At, at least because he's going to not even play this season, probably. He's probably going to sit back, which is probably what he needs. So <laughs> I think give him one season, and I think he'll be ready for uh, this, the next season to start. Okay. So. Yeah. Nice. Can you pick it or Malik? I'm just Deep. Malik. Deep. Malik, if you're hearing this, <laughs> I hope you get picked by the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. I know that you have no like say whatsoever in it, but uh, I also think that will be like an amazing pick. Yeah. Think, yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to hear? I guess should I stick with quarterbacks then? If we're going this direction. Anything you want. Do you think I? Do you want to know who the first quarterback I have off the board is? Who? It's not it's not Pickett or Malik. Malik. It's Matt Corral. For the no. Carolina Panthers. What? At the number six pick. <laughs> There's no way. I I just see them taking a chance on Matt Corral. I don't know what it is, but I have this real gut feeling he's gonna be the first quarterback off the board and it's going to be to Carolina. And I don't think they should do it, but I think that they're gonna take the chance and, and like they can't stomach the thought of I mean, having Darnold start another year i mean the coach is on his last season pretty much he might yeah. be fired after the season if they don't do anything about it so, so might as well take a risky pick you know uh, what i mean yeah yeah i agree i think that's what's gonna gonna happen i think why that's th- the first quarterback <laughs> why do you think him why him i i don't know like okay he's this very raw pass rusher right he's kind of like malik where mm-hmm. he's got superstar potential but he hasn't exactly performed the best. He's not the most pro-ready quarterback in this league, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so, course. I don't know. I just see the Panthers as being like, hmm, well, last time we took an experimental quarterback in Cam Newton, it worked out pretty well for us. Might as well try that again with Matt Corral. I mean, Matt Corral was doing some fire things in college. Of course, of course. Before he declared for the NFL draft, so... It's just this weird gut feeling. Like I just see Matt Corral in a in a Panthers uniform, and I think that's who we're, who the first quarterback is going to be taken off the board. You know, I I think you, I think if uh, I you get you? this, you have actually. Oh yeah, I think okay. you have. Good, good. I think if you get this pick right, I think uh, you'll be uh, the goat. You'll be goaded. Yeah. I need to get seventeen out of thirty two first round picks right to break the record. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I don't think it'll happen. You put some money down on it? Oh, yeah. My, my life savings, actually. Oh, okay. Good. That, good. Your college tuition. Yours. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's why I was digging around in your room last night. I found oh. I found your bank password. Oh, of course. But you can thank me later. I'm always, you know, it's going to work out well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well. All right. With that being said, um, this has... Time to bid adieu. This, yes, it's time to bid adieu. Okay. Cool. Uh, that's a big word. Yeah. Uh, this has been the draft 2022 predictions. Our predictions. Our predictions. We're going to come back with results. We will and come back thoughts. with results, and Brandon will get more than 17 uh, picks right. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, 17 right. or more. Hey, go down your list real quick. Let's go down. The so whole like, list. Just uh, speed run it? Yeah, speed run it. You sure? Yeah. All right, y'all ready for this? All right, I'm going to say something in between. Okay, go. Okay, number one, I got Evan Neal, offensive tackle. Number what? two, I got Aiden Hutchinson. What? Number three, I got Kyle Ham for safety. Number four, I got Kayvon Tito, the edge. Number five, I got New York Giants, Ikeem Aquanu. What? Offensive tackle. Number six, I got the Panthers picking Matt Corral. What? Their quarterback of the future. Number seven, the Giants, Drake London, wideout. What? <laughs> Number eight, the Falcons, Trayvon Walker, edge. What? Number nine. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. He's going anyway. to fall. Okay, okay. Number nine. The Seahawks, Sauce Gardner, cornerback. What? Number 10, the Jets, Derek Stingley, the junior. What? <laughs> Number 11, Commanders, Garrett Wilson, wideout. What? Number 12, Vikings, Trent McDuffie, corner. What? Number 13, Texans, Charles Cross, tackle. What? Number 14, Ravens, Trevor Penning, tackle. What? Number 15, Eagles, Chris Olive, wideout. What? Number 16, Tyler Smith, tackle. What? Number 17, the Chargers, Jermaine Johnson, the third. Oh, wait, Jermaine Johnson, the second edge. What? Yeah. <laughs> number number 18, Eagles, Andrew Booth, cornerback. What? Number 19, Saints, Jameson Williams, wideout. What? Number 20, Steelers, Malik Willis. What? Number 21, Patriots, Kenyon Green. What? Number thir- 22, Traylon Burks. What? Number 23, Cardinals, Jordan Davis. What? D-tackle. Number 24, Cowboys, they got George Carl Co- Loftus. What? Number 25, the Bills go Kyler Gordon. What? Number 26, the Titans go Zion Johnson. What? Number 27, Bucks go Kyir Elam. What? Number 28, the Packers pick Devin Lloyd. What? 29, Jahan Dotson. What? Chiefs, 30, Nicobe Dean Chiefs. What? Number 31, Jackson Hill, the safety. What? And number 32, your boy. Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett. Let's go. Pittsburgh. I was going to say, if you let him fall to the, to the second round, I don't think so. Yeah, no. Some team is going to take a chance on him. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was fun. That was that was it. That was our first episode. Give us a round of applause. <laughs> you can donate to us. Of course. Via the trash can outside <laughs> of our apartment. We'll of course. Sometimes. Of course. And yeah, we'll be back with y'all with some draft results. Oh yes, see y'all next time.